ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ವಿವೇಕಾನಂದ ಮಹೋದಯ ಶಿವಾನಂದ ಮಹೋದಯ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಸಂಜೀವ್ ಜಿ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ 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 ಸುಭಾಷಿತ ಪೂರಿ ಜನ ಪೂರಿ ಮಾರಿ ಜನಿ ಸಂಸಾರೆ ಕುಪಯಾರೆ ಪಾಹಿ ಮೋರಾರೆ ಗುಡ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಭಜಗೋವಿಂದಂ ಅಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪುನರಪಿ ಜನನ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಪುನರಪಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಜನನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಪುನರಪಿ ವನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಮರಣ ಡತ್ ಪುನರಪಿ ವನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಜನನಿ ಜಠರೆ ಜನನಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮದರ್ ಜಠರಂ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ಜನನಿ ಜಠರೆ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಮದರ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಓಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಮದರ್ ಶಯನಂ ಶಯನಂ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪಿಂಗ್ ಇಹ ಮೀನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಂಸಾರೆ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಬಹು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ದುಸ್ತಾರೆ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಕೃಪೆಯ ಅಪಾರೆ ಅಪಾರೆ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಎಂಡ್ಲೆಸ್ ಅಪಾರೆ ಎಂಡ್ಲೆಸ್ ಕೃಪೆಯ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಪಾಹಿ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮುರಾರೆ ಮುರಾರೆ ಇಸ್ ಅಡ್ರೆಸಿಂಗ್ ಹೇ ಮುರಾರೆ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ so uh, this uh, in this world which is the nature of the world is again death uh, again birth again death again uh, getting into the womb of the mother again having birth the cycle so this cycle birth, hmm? the cycle of birth and death yeah that continues so in this in this uh, world sansare which is difficult endless seems to be endless to start difficult to cross please protect me krishna mm-hmm. sorry sanjay what is the meaning of maranam i missed it maranam death jananam birth maranam death hmm. okay thank you okay we now this one uh, i have give on the translation a uh, transliteration here for the prathama diti uh, etc if you are interested it is available on the website also yeah i checked it thank you prathama uh, it is easier to read hmm dritya trit trit tritya chaturthi panchami 
Shashti Saptami. Mm. So Prathama is uh, um, one. First. Prathama first. is first. But that, that Prathama means first. Yes. Dhiti I mean second. Hmm. Which one? Dhiti I, yes. Second. Yeah. Dhiti I, third. Right? Uh, sorry, Dhitya, Tritya, third. Mm. And then Chaturthi, fourth. Oh. Mm. oh, it's like it's like number one to. Yeah, seven. Oh, okay. Chaturthi, four. Mm -hmm. Panchami, fifth. Shashti, sixth. Yeah. No? Hmm? Yes, yes. Saptami, seven. What is Sambodhanam? Sambodhanam is addressing, address, oh. call, call. call. Okay, thank you. So these, uh, most of these, the like, Prathama, the words which are used for these letters, uh, sorry, numbers, like Prathama, first, second, these are similar to these Greek or Latin words for those numbers, I think. Uh, like, uh, hmm. <coughs> Prathama, first, and Dhritiya, Dhri, it means it is like two. Uh, so, uh, Trutiya. Three, three, right? Three, three. Mm -hmm. Chatur is yeah. chatur, quadr, quadrang, quadruple or quadrang, quarter, quarter like chatur. Panchami, pancha is uh, pent, pent, like a pentagon, pent. Mm -hmm. Shashti, shash is, I don't remember what is the name, like a six, um, yeah, sexagon, like six. Mm. Uh, shash, that is Saptam is Scepter. Scepter, yeah. yeah, like in Greek Latin, I think it's Scepter. Septagon. Similarly, uh, next to Ashta also, like Octagon. Nava for nine, etc. So far, I just want to re recall. Uh, what all we have studied, like the general topic wise, the words wise, we don't have to remember all the words, but generally we have studied, we have looked, we have gone through some examples of Pullinga, Akaranta Pullinga words, right? The words whose root words ending in a uh, like masculine words examples Dama. Huh. and um no i forgot that. Hmm? i forgot rama and then there was another one rama and uh, yeah. Deepa, huh? Mm. Purusha, huh? Mm. The declension, you mean? Mm -hmm. The declension, you mean? No, no, no. Not oh, declension. Okay. Just the uh, words. Mm. Oh, okay. Yes. Remember then. Parvata, huh? Mm. Mm. Yeah, Parvataha, Darpanaha, yeah. uh, etc. So we have seen those. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah, Kandukaha, mm -hmm. Balakaha, yeah, Balakaha, Vaidyaha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, similarly, Strilinga words also we have seen some of them, which whose root words ending, uh, original words ending, uh, A and, e. uh, and long E. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Examples. What do you remember? Baidya. Uh, hmm. Mahila. Hmm. Nadi. Nadi and then... Yeah. Good. Nadi, Mahila, Petika. Yeah. Etc. Then, then the Naponsakalinga words, neutral words. Yeah, we did Jalam, huh. Pustakam, Pushpam, huh. Huh. and um, Netram, hmm. Charanam, 
Hmm. Sure. And what else? Oh, yeah. Kankatam, Gruham. Mm. Mm-hmm. And just now also we saw three words here. Janana in the Subhashtam here. Jananam, Maranam, Jashayanam. Mm. Mm-hmm. So these are some examples just to remember. So we saw those. And other than that, uh, what are the pronouns? Sarvanama means pronouns we have seen. <coughs> Uh, saha, right? Saha. Yes. Saha, Saha, Eshaha, Sa, Esha, Tat, no, um, Etat, hmm. Tat, Etat, yeah. Good. Tat, Etat, yeah. Right. So, We have seen these, and with this combination, we have seen some of the other words, like uh, so what are the kriyapada, what are the verbs we have seen so far? Asti, 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 and nasti. Asti means is there, and nasti is not uh, actually complete. Because it has two words, right? Na and asti. Mm. It has all. It is also asti only. But so together, na means not. Na and asti together is nasti. Mm-hmm. And uh, then other miscellaneous words you have seen for here, there, right? Atra, tatra. Atra, tatra. Kutra. Hmm. Hmm. Anyatra, sarvatra. Huh. And then there was something else. There was one more. Kutra. No, another one. Let me check. Kutra, 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 Nyatra, Sarvatra. Oh, Tarhi, Tarhi. 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 Tarhi means in that case. So, then the... Question words. Which are the question words? Kim, ka, kaha. Hmm. Kim, kaha. Ka, ka, ka. Yeah. Hmm. Then to, for where we have kutra. Uh-huh. Kutra jalam asti, where is the water? Kutra graham asti, kutra parvataha asti. <coughs> so any questions so far before we proceed? Yes, the last two we saw last week that we saw the general structure of a sentence mm-hmm. but now taking up simple sentences now let's say with the let's look at some of the verbs today now verbs have tenses like uh, verbs are used in tenses different tenses to indicate the time in which the action is taking place so the uh, We have in, in English how many tenses are there? Which are the tenses? Present tense, past tense, future tense, perfect tenses, mm. <laughs> and uh, imperative. Yeah, and but mainly these three, right? When the action can be taking place now, or it can, it might have taken place in the past. Or it will be taking past. It will be taking in the. Uh, it will be happening in the future. Only three times. So now, which is present, past, and the future. So similarly, in uh, Sanskrit also there are different tenses. <coughs> uh, 
so present tense past tense future tense these are there but in addition to that uh, there are few more like uh, we have in uh, english also like past perfect etc there are additional variations are there and along with that there are some very uh, some different forms for uh, moods like uh, in english uh, imperative mood like imperative means what they they are ordering somebody like you should do this you should do that like for that also there are different forms of the verbs in sanskrit but let's begin with looking at simple uh, forms of verbs in present tense today simple form so that we will be able to form start forming the simple sentences in present tense because we have already gone through so many uh, nouns or nama pada uh, so today let's look at some of the words so here are the here is the slide <coughs> which is prepared by one of the participants in the other class thanks to her so different actions are shown here and uh, what is the verb used for that in the present tense and singular uh, verb also has three numbers in sanskrit three numbers eka vachanam singular dvi vachanam dual and bahu vachanam plural just like a uh, nama pada or a noun has three numbers eka vachanam dvi vachanam bahu vachanam so if there are three objects so uh, three or more we use bahu vachanam form dual uh, if there are two objects we use dvi vachana form if there is a singular one object then we use a kavachana form so if one person is doing the action then we use singular form of the verb if there are two persons are doing the or two objects are doing the action then we use the dvivachana form of the verb not this is a what is shown here is the uh, forms of the nouns these are not forms of the verbs verbs have their own forms so similarly we will have to if there are three or more objects doing the action then we use the bahuvachana or the plural form of the noun also and plural form of the verb also so the form of the now number form of the noun which is doing the action and the number form of the verb which is used to indicate that action they have to match the number has to be same singular singular but the verbs do not have lingam they do not have gender only the nouns have the gender so in this example in this slide here the verbs are shown show uh, in the present tense and they are all in ekavachanam singular form okay. so the first one here is chalati okay yeah so you can read like shiva you can read you want to try the second one chalati means what walking chalati is walking hmm. likhati ah uh, likhati means writing writing someone is writing so we let so here with each of these uh form verb we can use a noun so suppose this person is walking so for person if if he have if he has a name we can use that if uh, if you want to say just a purusha the man we can say purusha ha purusha ha chalati say that or you can say balaka ha chalati saha chalati we can say that or you can also attach a question question word there like kaha chalati who is walking similarly the second one is writing this um, woman is writing so we can use any word 
with the likhati. But likhati, suppose if we say sa likhati, sa means she, sa likhati. Uh, but likhati can also be used with a pullinga word, with a masculine word, or with an aponsakalinga word. Like we can also say purushaha likhati. Man is writing. So, so likhati does not change with the uh, gender. Likhati will remain the same uh, because likhati has no gender. Uh, okay, similarly, next one is Pashyati. Hmm. Pashyati means seeing, looking. So the, she is looking. Sa Pashyati. Okay. No. You can also use Sa, Saha, etc. as you wish. Next, next one. Hmm. Patati is the read. hmm. reading. Sa Patati. Hmm. Hasati is to laugh. Laugh. Hmm. Hasati. Okay, next one, Shiva. Gachati, Gachati. Hmm. Gachati. Hmm. Okay, next one. Gachati means goes. Gachati goes. Hmm. Kadati. Hmm. Kadati eats. Should I continue? Yeah, continue. Yeah. P P bati. Hmm. Pibati drinks. Next one. Tishthati. Hmm. Tishthati stands. Hmm. Vahati. Hmm. Vahati flows. So what is flowing here? Nadi, <laughs> river. Kim Vahati, I can ask the question. Kim Vahati, Kim means what? Mm. Uh, Nadi Vahati, good. Answer is Nadi Vahati. Hmm. And here. Dhavati. Hmm. Dhavati, Kim Dhavati. What is this? Dhavati means runs, runs. Kim Dhavati? Ashwaha Dhavati. Hmm. Ashwaha Dhavati. Ashwaha horse. Ashwaha Dhavati. Okay, here. What is the next one? Next word. Upavishati. Upa hmm. Upavishati means sits. Sits. So the question would be, because I am looking at this person who is a male, so I can ask the question, Kaha Upavishati? Or if it's a female, I can also ask, Ka Upavishati? Uh, if I do not know, if I am not look, seeing, or not clear what is the gender, then I can also ask just Kim Upavishati. Like here I was asking the Kim Dhavati, or here I was asking Kim Vahati. Because if I am not sure, like I have not, that is not in front of my eye, and I can't see it, uh, and also I am not sure about the gender of the word, so then I can just use generic word, Kim, which is a neuter word, so that is fine. But the answer can be uh, in the, with the proper noun, it could be in any gender. So I ask, Kim Vahati, the answer would be Nadi Vahati because Nadi is going, flowing there. And Dhavati, Ashwaha Dhavati, Kim Upavishati, uh, or Kaha Upavishati, Kaha, Eshaha Kaha, Malakaha, hmm. Eshaha Malakaha. So Malakaha Upavishati. Next one. Agachati is coming. So note that Gachati is going. Agachati coming. Hmm. 
आगछति कमिंग का आगछति हु इज कमिंग का आगछति का आगछति हां बालिका आगछति एंड दिस वन लास्ट वन नयति हम्म नयति नयति मीन्स कैरीज कहा नयति हु इज कैरिंग कहा नयति लेकिन यू सम वर्ड फॉर दिस पर्सन ओल्ड मैन और ग्रोन अप मैन नयति Giovanni, so can can you just associate these words again? Just just now we saw with the different yes, actions the, here. So, Eshaha, Eshaha, Kim Karoti, Chalati, Chalati, hmm? Chalati. What? Sorry. Chalati. Yes, Eshaha, <laughs> Chalati. Hmm. Um, Sa, Likati, Likati, Likati. Hmm. Likati. Ah, Likati. Yeah, Likati. Yeah, I'm trying to do just with uh, memory without reading. So. Uh, mm. Sa Pashati. Yeah, Sa Pashati. Mm. Esha uh, Patati. Patati. Mm. Patati. Mm. Uh, sa Hasati. Mm. Yeah. Then we have uh, Puru. Purusha mm. uh, Gachati. Gachati, huh? This is. <laughs> ah, yes, uh, Kadati. Kadati. Mm. Yeah. So Purusha or Naraha Kadati. Mm. Uh, Saha Pibati. Mm. Saha, Saha Agachati. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one flows, yes. Uh, Vahati. Ah, Vahati, right. Yes. So, mm-hmm. uh, Nadi or Jalam Vahati. No, Vahati. Vahati. Ah, Vahati. Put a ya too much. Oh, this is Rans. Uh. Saha Davati Davati, right? Saha Davati Balika Upavishati Sa Davati Can't remember this one Yeah, if you see that running, then you can still use Dhavati. Then if you are thinking that it is coming, coming, then Agachati. Oh, agat- yes, this is Agachati. Yes. 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 Mm-hmm. So, Sa Agachati and uh, Saha Nayati. Hmm, Nayati. Mm-hmm. 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 One... Uh, so, we, along with asti, asti means just like this, or is there, is. Um, so, these are the additional things we saw. Anything missing, like khelati, kridati are not here. Khelati means um, plays. Kridati means also plays, plays. So, saha kridati. 
సహ ఖేలతి సా ఖేలతి దీస్ ఆర్ ద వర్డ్స్ సెంటెన్సెస్ వి కెన్ యూస్ నౌ దెర్ ఇస్ అనదర్ వన్ కాల్డ్ భవతి భవతి మీన్స్ హ్యాపెన్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో యూస్డ్ ఇన్ ద సెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఈస్ విచ్ ఇస్ లైక్ అస్తి బట్ మోర్ దాన్ ఈజ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ యూస్డ్ ఇన్ ద సెన్స్ ఆఫ్ హ్యాపెన్స్ సంథింగ్ హ్యాపెన్స్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ సూర్యోదయ సూర్యోదయ మీన్స్ సన్ రైజ్ సన్ రైజ్ సూర్యోదయ భవతి మీన్స్ సన్ రైజ్ హ్యాపెన్స్ ఆర్ వృష్టి భవతి వృష్టి వృష్టి మీన్స్ రేన్ వృష్టి భవతి రేన్ హ్యాపెన్స్ Now another, another uh, thing to know is that in Sanskrit there is only one present tense. There is no present, simple present or present continuous or other whatever present tenses are there. In Sanskrit there is only one form. So when we say Pathati, that means she reads and she is reading now, both. So in either in either sense same thing is used likhati asati khelati etc so what is the difference she, she is reading and uh, she reads i think the she is reading means at this moment the action is happening she reads means there is some i think some window of time i think maybe it is a generic statement like like uh, ంగ్ నౌ so that he comes in the evening and in the evening is still like 10 hours away but still it is used so that is fine so similarly in sanskrit also that uh, in this present tense form is used uh, like that loosely like so it is not uh, may not be happening right now but even though it is happening right now even it is like a continuous present we use the same form here agachati gachati so this we saw last time so we are just taking up this form right now prathama purusha ekavachana form examples so we are going to combine that with uh, the verb form with this prathama vibhakti ekavachana form ramaha pathati rama is reading ramaha likhati ramaha pashyati balika pashyati jalam vahati nadi vahati like that we can combine so this is let's finish this one parichaya uh, means introduction so generally one would know one should know uh, supposed to know at least to when you are learning a new language introduce oneself and ask for the question ask the other person's name so for example here mama nama is mama is means my nama means name my name you can introduce yourself mama nama and whatever name you can fill here 
मम नाम संजीव यू कैन ऑल्सो से मम नाम विवेकानंद मम नाम वीणा लग्न and to ask the question uh, name of the other person you can use bhavatah nama kim bhavatah means you are if the other person is male or bhavatyah means if the other person is female bhavatah nama kim alternatively we can use one pronoun called tava like mama is also pronoun tava is pronoun bhavata is also pronoun but bhavata has a depends on the gender tava and mama they do not change by the gender mama means my tava means you are so you can use this also tava nama kim means you what is your name so the answer the other person will say mama nama mama nama whatever it is mama nama shivananda mama nama पुषोत्तम मम नाम कृष्ण एनी क्वेश्चन यार इन द डिक्लेंशन टेबल So on the right hand side, the general meanings in which, or general way in which that declension form is used is shown here. Prathama is used as a subject. Bhiti is used as a object in a sentence, object word. Okay? And Sriti is used like, well, like for example, by, with, like, like by Rama, etc. And Chaturthi is used like for, to, it, like in that form. panchami is used like from and here we have to use the preposition form and then shashti is used for like of or like ramas krishnas like that saptami is used like when in in cases where in on at these kind of prepositions are used and these are the general um, way there are other ways also in which these Uh, different declension forms are used but these are the ju- just to show at least some simple usages now uh, in this we are we have we already know the prathama evakti forms of many words now and how to use it in a sentence like ramah gachhati balakah pathati with different words in at least in the present tense like balakah uh, pashyati बालिका आगछति एट्सेट्रा सो प्रथमा विभक्ति इज यूज्ड व्हेन द एक्शन इज परफॉर्मड बाय दैट पर्सन सो बालकः व्हेन वी से बालकः गच्छति बालकः गच्छति बालकः चलति सो चलति इज एक्शन वर्ब इंडिकेट्स द एक्शन व्हाट एक्शन इज हैपनिंग इन दैट सेंटेंस so balakah gachati so balaka is the root word right in for the nama pada for the uh, noun balaka this is ending in a and then when we want to say balakah gachati mm-hmm. the balaka we have to use it in the the prathama evakti ekavachana form here so as you see here is the first declension form in the singular form first case ramah like that balakah so if it is dvitiya vakti then it will become balakam so we we should not use balakam because the action which is being performed by the uh, perform like gachati the going action action of going is being performed by the balaka so we are going to use this form the uh, first case singular form <clears throat> now the our we are going to go through the these different forms one by one and take some examples the first we are going to start with 
the shashti bhakti after prathama prathama is common that is the word which is used in a sentence as a subject and the next is shashti shashti is uh, in the sense of belonging or of belonging to somebody so in that sense the shashti bhakti is used mostly and as you see for the akaranta pullinga shabda like this the word, the form becomes ramasya if the rama is the root word then we just add this sya to it sya to it in the uh, the form changes to ramasya to get the prathama vibhakti form we just add the visarga to it so rama is the root word and we just added the visarga to get the prathama vibhakti ekavachana form first case singular form to get the shashti vibhakti or the sixth case ekavachana form we just add the sya to it <coughs> sya so we have here rama plus sya ramasya ramasya okay. so this is easy ಅಕಾರಾಂತ which means ending sound yeah ending sound okay anta means end kara means sound akara okay kara okay, is not actually sound but uh, but here it is used as to say it like a, it is ending in a a sound akara similarly like uh, that the other one like uh, vidya vidya is knowledge so vidya is ending in a right akaranta we say akaranta strilinga shabda strilinga akaranta strilinga means uh, feminine word vidya ending in a sound ekaranta dirgha ekaranta nadi shabda strilinga ರಾಮಸ್ಯ ರಾಮಸ್ಯ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ದಸ್ಯ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರಥಮ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ದ ರೂಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಯೋಸ್ ಸಿಯ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ದ ಷಷ್ಠಿ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಅ ಫಾರ್ ಅವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಅ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ like we have seen the question word kaha ka means who now to say who's we just there's a word kasya kasya is the shashti vakti form of kaha kaha is the prathama vakti like the first case form and of the same word the shashti vakti form is sixth case form is kasya who's but the root word is different root word for both of these is kim kim is the root word kim in the prathama vibhakti first case singular uh, masculine it is kaha and kim in strilinga prathama vibhakti first case singular is ka and kim same word root word in neuter prathama vibhakti first case singular is kim only no change in the neuter but the root word is same for all the three so but in shashti bhakti uh, it becomes kasya in masculine pullinga in strilinga it is different we'll see that a little bit later 
So now, Shashti Bhakti means sixth case declension. Uh, I think in English it is also called possessive case. Eshaha Kaha, this is the question. Eshaha Kaha, this we know already. Eshaha Kaha means who is this? Eshaha Kaha, what is the answer? Eshaha Kaha. What is the answer? How do you say? Eshaha. Eshaha Balakaha. Eshaha Balakaha. And he is holding something. He is holding in his hand something. So we can ask Tat Kim because we may not know what is it is called. So we can just say Tat Kim. The answer would be Tat Saha Kamukaha. If you just want to say that is ball, we can say Sahakandukaha. And now we can associate that ball with the boy. We can say it is boy's ball or boy, uh, sorry, uh, ball of the boy. So in that case, of boy, for of boy we are using Balakasya. This of. So, Balakasya Kandukaha Asti. So, Balakasya means boys or of boy and ball. And as we saw in the last uh, class, generally the word order, generally in a simple sentence of Sanskrit is first it starts with. Uh, the subject. Okay? What is the subject? Kandukah here. And verb is at the end. Okay? Verb is at the end. So here the verb is asti. Asti is again uh, not mandatory. If it is not there, we can assume. But let, let's say we use asti here. Asti. So what is asti? Kandukah asti. Kaha asti. Kandukah asti. So we are. Kandukahasti. Because we are now making the ball, we are making the, we are forming the sentence okay. around the ball, hmm. not around the boy. We are not saying boy, balakahasti. Here we are saying kandukahasti. And the question would be, kasya kandukaha, whose ball? And the answer would be, balakasya. Balakasya Kanduka. Now Balakasya will put it behind this uh, noun Kandukaha because there is a relationship between Balaka and Kanduka. Right? Balakasya Kandukaha Asti. We can also put it. Change, huh? Interchange the words, right? And have the verb in the front and, and interchange the words, right? Yeah, we so can change the words. Mean. We can change the order of the words. Is that your question? Yeah. Yeah, we can change the order however we want here. So we can also say Kandukaha Balakasya Asti, Kandukaha Asti Balakasya, Asti Balakaha Kandukasya. Sorry, Asti Balakasya Kandukaha, etc. That is fine. But the re meaning remains the same. Because asti is indicating the verb, that is just the is. And uh, kanduka is ball, which is the subject for this is, because this is first case declension. In the declension table, the first case. The first case is always the, uh, not always, but most of the time, the it's all, it is the subject of the, it is performing the action. And then Balakasya is now associated with this noun, uh, subject here. But if there are other nouns in the sentence, then that order might be important, uh, if it is Shashti Bhakti, because the Shashti Bhakti, this off might be applicable to the some other um, Noun also in the sentence, but this is a simple sentence with one noun, just kandukaha. Then if we add another noun with this shashti, sixth case, then it is obvious that that 
that is associated or referring to the other noun. There is no other noun in this case. Vala kasya kanduka asti. Okay. Hmm. Let's take some examples here. Let's start with Javani. Hmm. So what we need to do here is read the um, word and just say what is its Shashti Vakti, sixth case form. Hmm. Hmm. And also think if any of the verbs which we just saw can be used with one of these uh, nouns when you are doing for example or you can just say any 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 uh, verb which you can remember from this list hmm. okay you can so, uh, you can complete the first column hmm. krupakaha that would be uh, Krupakasya. Ah, Krushakaha. Krushakaha. Oh, yeah. Okay. Krushakaha. So it would be Krushakasya. Hmm. Krushakasya. So Krushakasya. So Krushakasya. So what, what belongs to Krushakaha? So you can, you can think of any, any other noun which you, have, you can remember. Like Krushaka. Krushakasya Kandukaha. Krushakasya Jalam. Something you can say. Krishakasya Rukshaha. Yeah, Krishak uh, Krishakasya Uru Urukaha. Mm, Urukam. Right? Mm. Urukam. Urukam. Yeah. Krishakasya mm. Urukam. Huh. Okay. The next one. Uh, sai, sainikaha. Mm. So this would be Sainikasya. Mm. Sainikasya Kim. Sainikasya Kim must be what is what belongs to Sainika? Uh, I'm thinking of the the word for a weapon, the ancient word for weapon that is in the. I just can't remember what was the word for what. Sorry. Weapon, weapon. There was weapon. there is an ancient. Uh -huh. Ayudham. There, is an, uh, there is also an ancient word that is used, I think, in the Mahabharata about a weapon. Shastram. Danuhu. 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 Yeah, Dano is bo. Hmm. Ah, Dano, yeah. So it would be Sainikasya sain, sain Dano. Hmm. Yeah, okay, next. Apanikaha. Hmm. Apanikas, Apanikasya. Uh, Apanikas, Apkeeper. Huh. Uh, uh, alaya. Uh -huh. Can you say, can you say that? The alaya, the, the, the place, the, the whole. The uh, apanika. This word has come from the apanaha. Apanaha means the shop. Hmm. Apanaha means shop, and one who owns the shop that is apanikaha. Apanikaha. Apanikasya. Apanikasya, what? Apanaha. Okay, next one. Gra, gra, grahakaha. Grahakasya. Graha kasya danam. Ah, graha kasya danam. Okay. Danam is money, right? Danam. Hmm. Danam. Right. Danam. Mm -hmm. Okay. Danam money, yes. Hmm. Then we have uh, vaidya ha. Hmm. So vaidya sya. Uh, cannot think of vaidya sya. Patram. Hmm? Patram. Hmm. Pat Ah, 
Citra Karasya Karasya I don't know, the Chitram is a, ah, is, is it a paint uh, or just a photograph? No, painting. Ah, Chitram, correct. Mm. So, Chitra Kasya Chitram. Mm. Okay. Bara. Bara Baha. Bara Baha. So, Bara Vasya. Uh, Siuta. Bara Vahaha. Bara Vahasya. Siuta. Correct. Siuta is. Uh, Siuta is bag. Hmm. Actually, it doesn't belong to him. He's the one that carries. But yeah, that's fine. Uh, until he carries, it belongs to him. Siuta. There is another word I just want to just for your information. For bag, there is also called prasevaha. Prasevaha. Hmm. Siyutaha is also there. Prasevaha is there. So, baravahasya prasevaha. Hmm. Okay. Next. Then, divaraha, hmm. uh, divarasya matsyaha. Hmm. Speech, divaraha. right? Matsyaha. Matsyaha, good. Matsyaha is fish. Dhevara fisherman, Matsyaha. Fish, okay. Dhanyavadaha. The second one, uh, Roxana, do you want to try? Not, not yet. Okay. Sorry. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, Sanjeev. No problem. All right. So who wants to do this next one? Putrasya hmm. Kupaha. Hmm? Kupaha. A putrasya Kupaha. Um, the sun's well. Well means what well like? Kupaha. Well means um, a well like a pond. Okay. Can we say that? Or we can say man, Mandapaha. Yeah, yeah. Man, Janakaha, mm. uh, um, uh, what we do say for that? Uh, kun, kunda, kunda, kundu come. We have noise somewhere. We got some noise somewhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. No. Okay. That. Uh, uh, Janakasya, mm. uh, kundu come. What is uh, Jana, the father's pillar? Pillow. Mm -hmm. Pillow. Um, yes, right. Kundu kum. What is kundu kum? Kun, kundu kum is pillow, isn't it? Uh, you mean th this kundu Uh No, no, no. The, what you're sleeping on, the pillow that you sleep on. Oh, generally we use upadhanam. Oh, okay, Upadhanam then. Okay. So it's going to be Janakasya Upadhanam. Yeah. Um, and we can use um, uh, Pitamaha. Pitamaha. It will be Pitamahasya um, Lepikaraha. Lepikar. Lepikaraha. Hmm. Uh, yes, that is the grandfather's um, the scribe, the person who writes. Lipikara, hmm, okay. Uh, uh, Mata Mahasya, uh, grandmother, um, shall we use driver? Chalaka, chala, chalaka, hmm. chalaka. Hmm. Chalaka. Okay, what's the next one we have there? Yeah. Chalaka, just for that. Chalaka. Driver, hmm. next one. Saho da rasya. Um, uh, what's that word I was looking for? Manjusha. Manjusha. Basket. Yeah. Yes, this is good. We are introducing new words to all of us. Manjusha. Okay, good. Mm. Um, Manjusha. 
is a basket. Mm -hmm. And what next we have? Pitruvia. Pitruvia, yes, yeah. Um, shall we use the, um, what's the word, Prabhishuram, Axe Parashuha? For Axe? Parashuhu. Hmm. Parashuhu. Hmm. Pitruvia. Pitruvia means pa paternal uncle, uh, means uh, father's brother. Yeah. So you, he is, he is, Parashu means, you mean X, right? right. That's what X, yes. Right. Hmm. Okay. Ma, next Nar, Narkataha, Narkataha. There is one more, one more. Ending. Oh, mat, mat, ma to lasya. Um, Jangama Duravani. Hmm. Matula is mother's brother. Yeah. Matula Sya Duravani. Okay. Do have. Hmm. That's a mobile phone. Yeah. Next one. Narka nar, 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 sorry. Narta Kasya. Hmm. Um Shak Shak uh Shika Shik. Vartika. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the the the, um, the dancer's candle. Okay. Nartakasya Sikta Vartika. So Yeah, it's a long word. <laughs> yeah, Sikta. Just I'll just write like this. Sikta. Sikta Vartika. Sikta is a wax. Mm -hmm. Vartika. Uh, can you see that, my what I'm writing? Or no? Yeah. Did you see Vartika or no? Vartika. Vartika. No, it's a wax candle. Sikta Vartika. Hmm. Yeah. Vartika. Vartika. Hmm. Okay. And Tantra Gyan. Nas, oh, sorry. Tantra Gyanasya. That belong, right? Tantra Dnya. Um, yeah. Tantra Dnya. Yes. Hmm. Tantra Dnya. Yeah. Um, Goras. Goras. Gorasa. The engineer's milk. Gorasa. Huh? Yeah, okay. So you can simply use simple word like uh, Dugdham. Hmm? Dugdham. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Dugdham. Or Dugdham. Tantra Dnasya. What is the meaning of Dugdham? Sorry. Dugdham is milk. Ah, okay. Tantra Dnasya. Okay. Indian air's milk. Very unusual combinations. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right. We have a few more here. Like, uh, we'll start with uh, uh, Rina. Thank you. Um, Gopala. No, this one, first one. Chashaka. Chashaka. Chashaka, yeah. What is Chashaka? It's a spoon. Huh? This point? No, chashaka is a glass. Yeah. A glass, drinking, okay. Drinking glass. Okay. Um, the milk. Hmm. Chashaka sya dukdham. Hmm. Dukdham. 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 Hmm. Dug dham. Hmm. Okay. Next. Gopalaka. Gopalasya. Gopalakasya. This Gopala. is not a name here. We are using it as a cowherd. Hmm. Go means cow. Palaka means one who uh, tends to it. Hmm. Gopalaka. Gopala Kasya Animals 
Mm. No, just just try to use any anything you remember. Like just uh, just we can just go through it quickly. Don't have to be specific. Like Gopala Kasya. Gopala Kasya. Vastram. So Gopala has also Vastra, right? No, Vastram. Okay, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Vastram cloth. Mm. Okay. Seva. Seva Kasya. Uh, Seva Kasya. Uh, Graham. Mm. So how do you say this word? Say. Seva Kasya. Uh, Seva Kasya. Seva Kasya. Uh, seva kasya. Hmm. Seva kasya. Gruham. Gruham. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, seva kasya. Ad- hmm. Adhyapa kasya. Maapika. Adhyapa kasya. Maapika. Maapika. Good. Yeah. Maapika. Maapika. Ruler. Hmm. Hmm. Chalaka ha. Chalaka ha. Mm, what should be word for car? Um, okay. Charakaha. Karyanam. Hmm? Karyanam. Hmm. Kar- Where did you find that word? Vekanamla. Uh, I find it somewhere in the net, I think. Karyanam, isn't it? The car? Hmm. But we, what word we have studied? Oh. What have you studied for car? Um, is it Lokayanam? That is for a bus or something? No. Sorry. <coughs> yeah, the, this uh, <laughs> car yanam is being wrongly used. I just want to make it clear. Oh, oh yes, I see, right. People, yes. people want to use it. That is their problem. But it is not a Sanskrit word and it has been wrongly introduced somewhere by somebody and some people are conveniently, some people are using it, which is wrong. Uh, that's why there is un- different other words are also like Chakrayanam, which we have studied. And you can also say just Yanam, that is enough. Yanam is Vahanam, which is a, which is a carriage. Mm-hmm. So I'm, we just want to try to avoid these ashuddha or impure words, like which are not. Okay. 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 Sorry, Sanjeev ji. Yeah. yeah. Shivananda here. Yes. I just want to make a point because um, I am getting lost sometimes. Um, is it a way we can, for for as far as possible, stick to what we have learned so far, like the words? Because, as you rightly pointed out there just now, when we use words that we haven't dealt with, I mean, I tried to figure out was it and making notes, and I tend to get astray. And um, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. my suggestion, yeah. please appreciate yeah. it. Yes. Me too, because uh, I'm not used to the other grammar words, so it's kind of trying to figure out what they are. Yeah, yeah, that is a that's a desired one. So. Um, so try to use the. Uh, <laughs> that is my request also, like just to keep it together. Like you know, the other words are there, but so far it is also important to remember what we have already gone through. There are like hundreds of words we have already gone through. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you can repeat that, that would be great. Like repeat means when we are using such these different words, use the, these with so those combinations. Other words are also there, but uh, that will like you might you might be confusing. Mm, okay. Uh, so for uh, for the driver, we could have used lokayanam too, right? Yeah, lokayanam bus. Yes. Yeah, bus. And then lekha. Lekha Kasya, um, Lekhani, the writing, mm. or, no, pen, right? Lekhani? Lekhani, pen, yes. Pen. Lekha Kasya, Lekhani. Hmm. Pen. Then, pra, praband, Prabandha Kasya, hmm. 
Duravani telephone. Yes. Near Shakasya for the director I could use. Hmm? No, I'm trying to think what I use. Le near or table. You can say table. What do you work for table? Nirde Shakasya. Utpitika. Utpitika. Table. Archakasya Devala Deva Alayam. That was the temple. Devalaya calling the word. Devalaya. Archakasya Devalaya. Archakasya Devalaya. Vyadha Vyad Vyadhasya Hunter Hunter would be Fruit Seva Palam Seva Palam Seva Palam Yeah Or just Palam Or Rukshaha Vanam Anything Or Vyagraha Vyagraha is Or uh, tiger. Thank so you. also we have studied Kukuraha. Some the hunters might own the dogs also. Right? Dogs, yes. Yeah. Vyadhasya uh, Kukuraha. Patra Vitara Kasya Pustakam. Pustakam. Syutaha. Syutaha, yes. Gayakaha Gayakaha something with Petika. Yeah. Petika for a person. Purohitaha Please again. Purohitaha Vastram is that the Yeah, Vastram Purohitasya. Hmm. Vastram is the dress, right? Dress? Vastram is general cloth. Hmm. Okay. Nayakasya Ghati Ghati cloth. Ha, ghati. Ha. Nayakasya Ghati. Ghati is what? Cloth. Cloth. Hmm. Would that be used for like a um, uh, watch too? Watch me wrist watch. Wrist watch, yeah. So wrist because uh, that watch, the clock is it is tied to the uh, hand. So we just call it hasta ghati. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hasta is hand, right? Hasta we have seen. Hand, yes. So we make it a compound word together. One word, hasta ghati. One word, not separate words. Okay. Hasta ghati. That. Hasta Gati. Okay. Yes. So it's one word. One word, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pa pa chakaha chamasha chamasaha. What is the shashti shashti form? Shashti vipakti form? Sixth case form of pa chakasya. Hmm. Pa chakasya. Chamasaha. Hmm. Chamasaha. Chamasaha means spoon. And Chatrasya Pustakam mm. book. Book. Mm. Yeah. So great. This was, these are simple, like uh, they all follow the same pattern, like Ramaha, Ramasya, Chashakaha, Chashakasya. Um, mm. And we can add the whatever thing belongs to them. Mm. Similarly, uh, Pushpam. What is the lingam or gender of Pushpam? Naponsaka lingam. Naponsaka lingam. So here also, and the root word for this is, sorry, what is the root word? Pushpa. Pushpa. Uh, akaranta pulling the word. Pushpa. Akaranta pulling the word. Uh, so here, can, can sorry, just, three, uh, Naponsaka lingam. Uh, is uh, it uh, like, how do you really make out the root word? What is the root word? No, that is only referred to the dictionary. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, 
सो द षष्ठी वक्य और द सिक्स के सिंगुलर फॉर्म ऑफ अ न्यूटर वर्ड एंडिंग इन अ इज ऑल्सो द सेम फॉर्म देर इज नो चेंज लाइक राम विकम्स राम से एंड दादर चालक विकम्स चालक से So what happens here is the pushpa becomes pushpasya. So though the word is neuter, the form shasthi bhakti form is same, and that you can see in the declension table. No, so this is the declension table for the neuter word. Like example shown here is phala, and the neuter word, oh, the root word is ending in a. Like akaranta napoosa kalinga phala. The phala word ending in neuter word phala ending in a uh, like a uh, sound. So here, if you see, if you compare this with the, uh, is there a letter? Oh. So if you compare this with the declension table of this one, if you notice. The first three, the first case addressing and the dvitiya, second case, first, second and addressing. Only these three are different forms, and all these third to seventh and all the singular, dual and plural, they have the same form. So it is easy between these akaranta, the word neuter, and uh, masculine word ending in a sound. It is easy to remember. So now, since we are studying this shasti bhakti sixth case, so here it is the same form. Like there was ramasya, phalasya, pushpasya. Everything is same. However, the question word, question is word is also same. But uh, what was the in prathama first case? What was the question word for the neuter words? It was kim, right? So, because we used to ask the Kim, uh, Kim, uh, etat Kim, tat Kim. Ah, uh, etat Kim, tat Kim. That is because it is a combination with the neuter. The Kim was neuter there. This, but similar to kaha, kaha is a pulling a question word, masculine. So that also the shasti bhakti form is kasya only. So here also Kim Shastri Bhakti form is Kasya only. So this is uh, quite easy to remember. So similarly we have the Abhyasa here. So Shivananda, you can finish this. Halam. Sorry, you start with Pushpam. Yes, sorry. Um. So this is all the words which are given here. They are in the first case, prathama bhakti, and uh, the word given here, example given here, is in the sixth case. Pushpam, pushpasya. Pushpas means off. Pushpam means uh, uh, flower. So off flower. So this is our flowers. Pushpam, pushpasya changes. So, what will be the for shasti sixth case form of palam? Palam, palasya. Hmm, palasya. So, what will be the example word you attach with palasya? What belongs to fruit? Palasya. Sorry, I'm not sure I'm following that. Like a color, probably? Color? Yeah. So something like we... Uh, so are you not following the question? Shivananda, so like what we we just mm -hmm. like went through all this, like seva kasya or chala kasya yanam. So something, another word, another thing which belongs to this word. Chalakasya yanam means the yanam, the vehicle which belongs to this driver. So like that, 
something which belongs to uh, phalam. That is what we are trying to find out here. Phalam means fruit. Phalasya, like Veena said, color. For color, we can use the word varanaha. Phalasya varanaha means color of the fruit. Color of the fruit here. Okay. Can we can we use amram phalam? Yeah, that that is a amram phalam is correct. That is a mango fruit, but both are in the prathama vibhakti there. First case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next one, Shivananda. So that would be uh, Nayanasya. Ah, Nayanasya. Mm -hmm. Nayanasya. Here also you can say Varnaha. The color of the eye. Mm -hmm. right? Nayanasya, Varnaha. Same thing. Mm. I was thinking more like, uh, can we say um, a dark eye? How would we say that? No, dark eye is dark, dark. Dark doesn't belong to the eye, right? Darkness belongs to the eye. Right? Mm -hmm. So, if you just want to say dark eye for dark or black, we have the Krishna, right? Krishna. Krishna is Krish, yeah. black. So, then we will have to use both in the Prathamaya Bhakti. So, we are looking at the Shashti Bhakti now. So, okay. uh, stick to Shashti now. Hmm. Netram. Same thing, netram nayanam same, shashti bhakti alvikam netrasya, right, ok, next one, yes. Shiv, hmm. yes, sorry, vima, vima, vima nasya, hmm. vima nasya, vima na, what is vima na, uh, aeroplane, aeroplane, so, yes, Door, let's say door. Mm -hmm. Door of plane, aeroplane. What is the word for door? Dwaram. Do. Yeah, yeah. dwaram. Mm. Dwaram. Right. Okay, next one. Vimanasya dwaram. Okay, that is the door of vimana. Mm -hmm. Hello? Plane. Okay, next. Par Parnasya. Hmm. Parnasya. Yeah, you can just keep yeah. on using Varana only, you know, if you don't recall any. I'm huh? trying to think of other words that we did. There are other more. More words where we can yeah. think of other words. Sorry, Rana, hold back to class. Um, it's huh? okay if somebody continue. Let somebody else continue. No, no, no. You can continue. Paranasya. Ruksha. 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 That's okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Shiva, next one. Pustakasya. Pustakasya. Hmm. Because, yeah, uh, I guess you can say writing, writing, hmm? writing, Break. written, written words or words. Pustakasya mm lekhakaha -hmm. author. Mm -hmm. Lekhakaha. Mm -hmm. See, we have already seen lekhani, right? Lekhani means what? Lekhani. Right. Right. No, Lekhani. Lekhani is pen. pen. Okay, okay. Ankani. Okay. Ankani, Lekhani. Ankani, Lekhani, pen or something you used to write. Lekhani, pen. Likhati we have seen. Likhati is a verb. That is writing. Right? 
in the first slide today we saw likhati likhati means uh, this is the verb in the present tense somebody is writing saha likhati means he is writing so lekhakah likhati pustakasya lekhakah okay next one annam an annasya hmm annasya bhojana ah ha sure i'm trying to put yeah, link them together i'm not sure yes yes that is correct bhojanam annasya bhojanam okay hmm bhojanam means uh, food uh, lunch or food annasya bhojanam okay last kan kankatam kankat kankatsya kankat kankatsya kankatasya kankatasya hmm. kankatam is comb hmm hmm kankatasya kankatasya balika Ah, and that kankata comb also has a tooth, right? So what do you say for tooth? Dental, dental. Pulsa. 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 Ah, danta. Danta, yes. Kankata sya danta. Hmm. The tooth of a comb. Okay. So, I think we'll stop here. So the these uh, right hand side words i think can you do this uh, homework okay can write it yes take this and find out some uh, related words you can finish this around many how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 nine words okay any yes, other sir. question any question no i'm good All right then. I'll stop here today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank